Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare and sometimes self-care. So if that's your vibe, please consider hitting subscribe. And today I'm continuing with my top 10 ingredient series with mugwort. Yeah, you know I love mugwort. It's really one of my favorite like K-beauty centric ingredients. It's done so much for my skin. And you've probably been really waiting for me to do this one. We've already covered Sika and snail and green tea. And finally, mugwort's time has come. And there's going to be some familiar favorites in this video for sure. But I do actually have some new goodies for you as well. So if you're so ready to find out what my picks are, give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started. So we have to start off with the Misha Time Revolution Artemisia Essence. Now this is really one of the best examples of a highly concentrated mugwort product and really a high quality mugwort product. So first I have to tell you there has been a packaging change. So um, they have updated the packaging. I think it was um, just in the middle of 2021 they changed the packaging. They tweaked the formula slightly but really there's not a huge change here to report. So what makes this special is it is a single extract essence, meaning it's only using mugwort, 100% mugwort to bring benefits to your skin. There's no other helper extracts in here at all. It's just about mugwort. There's a little water and some preservatives. It's not the only ingredient. It's just the only star diva here. And it is a really high quality extract. And I think that's important to note because not all extracts are created equally, right? It really comes down to the quality and how the um, the ingredient has been extracted, the method that they're using. And I just think that they're really doing it right here in this Misha essence. It is double fermented for 100 days. Now, you know, when you ferment something, you really kind of supercharge the benefits, right? You really, um, really open them up and double them. So if it's double fermented, is that like triple benefits? I don't know, but it really does result in a very concentrated mugwort extract. So you can really expect intense soothing and calming on the skin. Mugwort is so good for reducing inflammation, especially inflammation associated with rosacea and psoriasis. It's really good also at reducing redness on the skin. It's a great wound healing ingredient with antibacterial properties, so making it really helpful if you do suffer with breakouts. And it's a strong um, antioxidant with a lot of vitamins and minerals for the skin, so it's a skin healthy ingredient too. It's just really nicely well-rounded um, really, really great. Um, and it actually has benefits somewhat similar to Centella. So this is considered a first essence. So this is something you want to put on first in your skincare routine right after cleansing before any toners or serums. And, you know, you want to think about this product almost like a prep essence. This is something that preps your skin for the rest of the skincare products that you're going to use. So it's not really hydrating. Like you might think about like more traditional essences to be, they don't bring lots of hydration in to the skin or any type of moisture. They actually have a very thin, like very quickly absorbed, like weightless type of texture, um, but they really do bring um, lots of concentrated benefits to the skin. And here we're bringing all of that mugwort into the skin and whoa, like this works on contact. And it really comes down to that extract being so highly concentrated. When my skin is feeling irritated, I just put this on and the soothing is instant. It's just like, ah. Oh. It feels so, so good. It reduces redness on the skin very, very, very fast. And I have found that like with consistent use, it can really help um, when you are getting a little bit more like breakouts or pimples. I feel like it can kind of help speed the healing of that and kind of help with the appearance because it's so good at reducing inflammation. So it can really help reduce the redness and the size of the pimple. Oh, it works so good, so fast on contact amazing they have um like the essence version but they also have a mist version which i find really handy because you can just spray your face real quick like right out of the shower get some of that soothing um, benefit right away and because it is so highly concentrated the mugwort smell there's no fragrance added in here this is just purely the smell of mugwort it's really intense it's really strong i find it pleasant it's not perfume so it doesn't linger right but you will smell it when you apply it and I find it really like 
woodsy and kind of like earthy i think it smells amazing um, but it is like very noticeable on this product because the extract here very very concentrated so i have to talk about the tony moly artemisia first essence and it is actually like very similar to the misha they are using a different variety of mugwort here you'll notice that um but this is also a single extract essence they have fermented the mugwort once but they fermented it for a very long period of time for three years so again we have um, a very high quality method here for the extract and this is something again you're gonna smell uh, that mugwort no fragrance here but that that very concentrated mugwort that smell comes out um, in this essence this is also a first essence so again it's not really gonna bring lots of hydration or plumping or moisture into the skin it's that thin texture that quickly absorbs and really preps your skin for the rest of your skincare routine first essences can really help enhance the absorption of the rest of your skincare too while also bringing lots of benefits so this one definitely you're gonna feel that this kind of helps with like maybe a more elaborate skincare routine that helps with the absorption which is great because you know the deeper and the better your skincare absorbs the more effective it's gonna be for your skin I do find that this is like I said very close in quality um, to the Misha and you're gonna see that reflected in the prices of both of these products these are around like 30 ish for $40. Like, so it's kind of expensive ish, right? But you're really paying for the quality here of the mugwort. A um, little expensive for a Tony Moly product. I do think that this one is worth it. I do find that the fermentation process on this may be a little bit gentler. And I think that that is reflected in how this feels on the skin and how the results come through. But I mean, again, instant calming on the skin, um, really good redness reduction with this one maybe like not as strong as the double fermented process, but still I think just as good and just as concentrated. Next up is the I'm from Mugwort Essence. I've got a lot of essences here, but this one is very different from the first two. This does have 100% mugwort in it, but it's actually been extracted in a very different method. And while it is fermented, I just personally find the fermentation on this to be so much lighter, a lot less intense on the skin that's really reflected in how this product performs but that's not a bad thing you know as much as I rave about fermentation really supercharging the ingredient I recognize that that is not going to be appropriate for everybody's skin um, fermentation when you really really like supercharge the ingredient and when you're really increasing the absorption that's not going to agree with everybody's skin some people are sensitive to fermented ingredients they can be maybe a little bit irritating on the skin they can maybe absorb a little bit deeply or they can sometimes cause breakouts and things like that so if that sounds like you perk your ears up about this one because even though it's fermented like it doesn't really seem that fermented to me do you know what I mean you're gonna see the differences here because the texture it's a little bit thicker it's a little bit um, more bouncy it's got body to it I call it kind of like a syrupy type of texture um, but it definitely brings more hydration into the skin it's got that little like um, bouncy slip and plumpness to it um, and a little bit of balance when you get this into the skin too it can be really helpful if you um, do need a little bit more hydration maybe a little bit more balance from your essence the first two are not going to bring that to the skin this one definitely could um, I think it's got a really nice texture that actually feels kind of calming on the skin because my skin always feels soothed with hydration and a little bit of moisture and so that's kind of what this brings to the skin and the way that it brings benefits is like in a slower like a gentler manner this is not necessarily going to like instantly soothe your skin on contact but the longer that you use it you're going to notice that your skin is calmer it's less red it's looking glowier and healthier it's feeling less irritated it's just stronger um and that's really the beauty of this type of essence and really i just think of mugwort in general i think it just over the long term it really helps to strengthen and improve your skin i think it can help a lot especially if you have a lot of nap 
natural redness on your skin. It can help in the long term with that. That's what this type of essence does. It's a long term type of product, but I do think that it's powerful with consistency. Let's talk about the Isn't Tree Spot Saver Mugwort Gauze Mask. This is a sheet mask that is really like nicely hydrating with some good soothing benefits to it as well. It's made out of this gauze material, which I find really interesting, but it really helps to hug the hydration to your skin. This essence, it doesn't have any moisture or slip to it. it really is just like deeply hydrating. But if you do have a little bit of irritation on your skin when you use this, you're going to feel that hydration dive deep into your skin and really like bring that, that like, ah, soothing, calming benefit into your skin. And then when you take the mask off, um, if you have any like redness from inflammation or your skin feeling a little bit irritated, you'll notice that redness is greatly reduced. I actually just used the mask today and it really helped. I had quite a bit of redness around my nose and it really helped calm that down very quickly and just make my skin feel so much more like, yes, yeah, soothed and balanced. Now let's talk about the Isn't Tree Real Mugwort Clay Mask. And I love this because it's bringing the soothing, calming benefits of mugwort and matching it with like the clarifying benefits of clay. Now I normally don't like clay masks. You probably heard me say this before because they can um, actually irritate and dry out my skin quite a bit. Um, but I really like this one because it just is like a gentler take on like an aggressive clay mask that dries your skin out. The, um, the mugwort really helps to like keep your skin feeling calm, helping with any red on the skin and then the clay is just really gently helping to clear out the pores kind of suck up any extra gunk that might be sitting towards the top surface in the pores and when you wash this off you know not only is your skin not going to feel really really tight and dry but you're going to notice that your skin is looking more clarified it's feeling softer the pores are looking a little bit more refined maybe a little bit tighter looking because they've been cleaned out this mask is so so good especially if you get like blackheads around your nose, which I definitely do. This really helps to improve them, but it's gentle on the skin and it doesn't dry it out. Continuing with my favorite mugwort masks, the I'm From Mugwort Wash Off Mask is a long time staple for me. I always have this on hand. And I think that's why I wanted to name so many mugwort masks off as my favorites because mugwort is such a great ingredient to lean on in an emergency. Because not only does it bring intense soothing to irritated and inflamed skin, it can also help to improve pimples on the skin. It can also just help to improve your complexion and give you that shot of like healthy glow to your skin really quickly. This is a hydrating gel texture with lots of real pieces of mugwort in it. And um, this actually just like this gel just like feels really like soothing and calming and kind of cooling and refreshing on the skin. And it really just like clings to your skin really nicely. This is not like that thin gel mask that almost like absorbs fully into your skin. This stays there. It's hefty on the skin. It feels so good and it really calms your skin. If you're feeling any type of irritation, this will like in the 10, 20 minutes that you're wearing it, this will calm your skin down. It will reduce redness. And I, I use this a lot when my skin is irritated, but I do also use this a lot when I'm getting inflamed pimples, you know, the really swollen red, almost painful types of pimples. I use this a lot when I'm breaking out like that. And it really helps like that quick fix. You know, it really helps to reduce the inflammation, bring down some of the redness, which actually helps to improve the appearance of the pimple. And I do find that this um, can help maybe also shrink the pimple too. And it reduces redness, like just natural redness too. So if you're having a little bit of redness, maybe around your nose or under your eyes or wherever, this just kind of like naturally after you wash it off, brings out that like healthier, more kind of like balanced complexion. Next up is the bar super green, deep energy ampule. And this is a newbie for me, but I've really been enjoying this so much. And I think it's a great example of mugwort, you know, what mugwort can do for the skin paired with another like fabulous star ingredient and how mugwort can really support that. So there's 20% of mugwort in here for the calming and soothing effect. And then we have 60% of, of heart leaf extract. I call it H cordata extract. That's how you're going to see it on the ingredients list. And you know, I love this ingredient. This is like my 
by Hero for soothing pimples, healing pimples in a gentle way. Because I have very sensitive skin, so I cannot blast my pimples with chemical exfoliation or like harsh acne treatments. I have to like go about it in like soothing inflammation and wound healing. And that's actually what both Mugwort and H. Cordata can do. And I have found that H. Cordata so, so good for, for my part, my personal breakouts. And that's actually what this serum is doing for me. Um, so it's got this really nice light gel texture that's actually very hydrating. There's no moisture here. It's quickly absorbed and it's not sticky. I, I think it's got a great texture that's going to work for a variety of skin types. But I found that this is helping to calm down pimples. I was using it. I was getting um, like this cluster of like congestion on my forehead with a few of them were starting to get um, inflamed and red. And I was like, oh, these are going to turn into pimples if I'm not careful. And I remember just like using it like the first night and I woke up the next morning and I was like, hey, those pimples look like they're shrinking. Like it's not like a miracle worker, like the pimples are gone, but I can see the pimples are on their way out. And you know, that's like, I'm like, I'm okay. As long as they're on their way out, I'm good, right? And as long as they're not going to like become something bigger or become like more of an issue, right? I'm good. And that's what I feel like H. Cordata does. I think that it just kind of helps speed up the healing process. I think it's got a really nice, gentle anti-inflammation benefit, an antibacterial effect on the skin. And it just speeds that pimple cycle up in a very, very gentle way that does not like strip your skin at all. Uh, I think it's just like a really, really great ingredient to know about if you do get pimples and you have sensitive skin, or you just want to take a gentler approach really great ingredient. But then we got the mugwort, which is bringing a lot of the redness reduction. That's bringing a lot of the soothing and calming for sensitive skin. Cause when the pimples do get inflamed, like I was saying earlier, they can sometimes get painful and very irritated. So I think this is an amazing match with mugwort and heart leaf extract coming together. So great. If you love mugwort for soothing and clarifying, um, you know, like acne prone skin, you have to know about this serum. It works so, so good. So we have to talk about the Misha Artemisia Calming Ampule. Now this is really similar to the Essence, the very first product we talked about in the video. Um, but if that one sounded good, but you're like, hey, I really, you know, I don't want this really thin, non-hydrating texture. I want a little bit more to my skincare. Then perk up your ears because this is very similar to the Essence, but it's coming in a more hydrating uh, format. So we are using 70% of Artemisia or Mugwort here, and it is double fermented for 100 days. So it's still that really high quality, very concentrated mugwort extract. But then you'll notice on the ingredients list, we have some more hydrators in here. And that is reflected in the texture. It's um, a little bit more of like a hydrating gel texture, a little bit of body here, you'll see that. And as you get it onto your skin, you're gonna first feel like this burst of hydration. It feels really nice on the skin. It feels really like refreshing. But then as it's absorbing into your skin, you're gonna feel more moisture and more balance. And it feels really great. Like I have combination skin, so I really do appreciate a little bit of hydration with a little bit of moisture. That's what this brings. It's not greasy. It's not really rich on the skin or heavy, but it just kind of like fills the skin just a little bit more than like a really light, just hydrating gel that like almost disappears. You know what I mean? It's got a little bit more presence on the skin that can actually feel very comforting when your skin is a little bit more irritated or even dehydrated. And this is the type of serum because again, we're going back to the quality of the extract that they're using and how they've extracted it. This will soothe your skin on contact. So going back to Isentree, they do have a really great mugwort line, a lot of products in there, but I really wanted to talk about their mugwort cream because I think this is a little bit more unique in the world of mugwort. And um, I think it's actually really great if you do have oily skin because this is like that gel cream type of texture that brings a lot of hydration to the skin, a little bit of moisture and really just like a whisper, not a ton of occlusivity. So it's very light, very breathable, great for like hot and humid climates, or like I said, for like oily, maybe like more oily combination skin. And it's bringing some of those mugwort calming abilities too. It's like a very kind of soothing sort of feel on the skin. So this can definitely be used as a full face, lightweight moisturizer. But I also think this is something that 
you can think about like a Sika cream. You know, Sika creams are multi-purpose creams for uh, irritation. You can use them on bug bites, um, razor burn, areas of irritation, pimples, um, anywhere that's looking a little bit red and raw. They're like healing, um, healing creams basically. And this is just like a mugwort version of that. So you could also use this even if you don't have oily skin um, or don't appreciate really lightweight moisturizers, you could actually use this as like a multi-purpose cream. Um, anywhere that needs a little bit of that mugwort goodness. That's actually how I use this a lot of the times. It, it's really good actually if you do get um, bug bites because uh, it can really help with the itchiness. Um, so anywhere that you need a little bit of mugwort in your life, this cream's got your back. And we have to talk about the April Skin Artemisia Squalane Hydra Gel Cream. Woo, that's a long name. I really like this one. It is another kind of light gel cream texture with lots of hydration. I think this really plumps the skin up. It feels really deeply hydrating. There's a little bit of balancing moisture with the squalane in here that really kind of helps keep the hydration in place and a little bit more occlusivity than the Isentry Mugwort Cream has. It's still on the light side, but I think it's a little bit more uh, like occlusive than, than the Isentry is. And like I said, this really gives you like bouncy plump juicy skin another one that's going to be great for like hot and humid weather um that's where i've really appreciated this cream when it's just like too hot for anything else this just feels really refreshing and that little hit of mugwort is great in this cream too because if it is really hot sometimes my skin gets irritated from just like the heat the mugwort just like feels calming and refreshing on the skin but i really like the way that they formulated it because it's not just mugwort you know, we've seen just mugwort be really great in products, right? There's a lot of products in this video that are like just mugwort, but we've also seen how mugwort can be a team player. And I do think that there's some great formulation in here. We've got some great barrier supportive ingredients in here. We've got ceramide NP, we've got some prebiotic ingredients. So it's not just focusing on calming the skin, but it's focusing on strengthening the barrier, helping with a healthy skin microbiome. All of those things are all so super important love this refreshing um, like hydration bomb texture feels so good and it really reminds me like the hydration levels really remind me of the Artemisia rice toner which I'm talking about all the time right because my skin just loves it it's so hydrating I love that product I don't think it's a great example of mugwort I think it's a great example of a hydrating toner but this particular cream I think really harnesses the mugwort a lot more but still like preserves that really hydrating feel that the toner brings too. It's a, they're actually two good products that could go together or be used separately. Um, I think it's a great line. So much mugwort goodness. I hope you enjoyed that. If there is a mugwort product that I did not talk about in today's video, let me know your favorite ones in the comment box below. Now, if you love mugwort, you made it this far in the video, but you have not hit subscribe to my channel yet, please. I would be so honored if you would subscribe to my channel. I release a lot of new skincare videos just like this one. So consider turning on notifications too, so you're never out of the loop. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. I love you so much. Bye.